let's look at this problem. Uh, once again, a previous one from the topic kinematics. Uh, it says the, the trajectory of a projectile in a vertical plane. What do you mean by vertical plane? I, I project a traject I project a projectile, and in the vertical plane, right? This ground is the horizontal plane, and this plane that you see here is the vertical plane. In the vertical plane, the trajectory is this equation, where a and b are constants. These are constants, and x and y are the respectively the horizontal and vertical distances from the point of projection. So, if I project my projectile like this with some angle theta with some velocity u, it will follow a parabolic path in the project in the what do you say vertical plane whose equation is this right <coughs> and uh, this point being the origin if the, if the, if the body is here coordinate being x and y. So, the distance or vertical horizontal distance is x and the vertical distance of the point is y right from the point of projection that is what the statement means. You need to find the maximum height this maximum height attained and you also need to find the angle of projection this theta with the horizontal right. So, first of all you should know the formula for horizontal uh, for maximum height it is nothing but u square sin square theta by 2g. Remember you can always derive the projectile motion problems immediately in the examination if you have an understanding, but it is always advisable to remember them. So, this is what it is. I need to find this. So, first of all, I will have to create an equation of this sort, compare that equation with this, find a and b and then write h in terms of a and b. That is what the problem is. So, let us see how we can do this. So, for instance, it's, if it is projected with u, then the x component of velocity is u cos theta the y component of velocity is nothing but u sin theta initial initial velocity right. If you want to find how much of x it has gone forward then let, let it take a time t let it take a time t to reach this point in this time t it has gone forward by distance x. So, this <coughs> distance x is nothing but speed into time. So, it is u cos theta into t. So, I can say t from this equation is nothing but x by u cos theta. If I want to know how much of y it has gone above right then I will use this initial y velocity my, my height is y right and I will use the second equation of motion which is y is equals to u initial which is u sin theta into t minus half g t square. Why minus half g t square because g is downwards and h is upwards right. So, Vectorially, you will get this minus sign when you substitute values. So, if you replace t with x by u cos theta, you will have u sin theta into x by u cos theta minus half g into x square by u square cos square theta, right. So, if you finally write this equation, your y will be nothing but u gets cancelled. So, it will be tan theta into x minus you will have g by you will have a g by 2 u square cos square theta g by 2 u square cos square theta into x square. If you compare this equation and in fact a lot of times I would advise you are you are you are uh, required to remember this uh, parabolic uh, equation for a projectile motion because a lot of times when you get direct questions like this from this you won't have the time to derive this and you can quickly just if you remember this equation you can quickly compare terms and get the answer. So, what is given in the question is a x minus b x square. So, here a is this tan theta and this is what this. So, if you want the angle of projection with the horizontal that is pretty simple right. Your tan theta is nothing but a you need theta. So, theta is tan inverse a. So, you got the angle of projection and this is tan inverse a. Now, you need the maximum height right. To get the maximum height you need this u square sin square theta by 2 g. As you can see you do not need cos theta. So, I somehow have to use b and a and remove cos theta from this. So, a is nothing but sin theta by cos theta. So, a square will be nothing but sin square theta by cos square theta. If I can divide a and b or uh, if I can divide a and b because your b is nothing but uh, what do you say uh, g by 2 u square cos square theta. So, if I can divide a and b, I will get rid of cos theta and that is what I need right. So, if I do, if I do a square by b, what I will get is 
right a square as it is forget about cos theta so you have this and then you have into 2 u square and then you also have a g here because this will be g by 2 u square right but you need u square sin square theta by 2 g and right now what you have is you have a square by b is equals to 2 u square sin square theta by g but what you need is u square sin square theta by 2 g so if I divide this with 4 on both sides I will get h max right because this will be then become h max so the answer to this question is a square by 4 b maximum height is nothing but a square by 4 b.